Okay, so now you are excellent at creating tweens, and you've got your Batman, you've got your Batgirl, and you've got your Robin. I didn't do my Robin layer, but you did, which is good. Now, at this point, you may be running out of city. Um, if you are running out of city and you need more frames, just go to your city layer, and you can go out here and say, okay, I just want a frame way out there, and that'll give you some more space. Now, after you've got Batman and Robin and Batgirl all done, um, I'm going to show you two more little things. That'll be pretty cool. Um, let's make a new layer. And this layer, I'm going to put it underneath Batman, but it still needs to be above the city. And I only want this to happen once everybody, like Batman and Robin Batgirl, are already out of the screen. I want something else to happen. So here's what we're going to do. Right around here, when everybody has finished their jumping motions, um, I'm going to, again, convert to a keyframe. And then... I'm going to show you how to tween some filters. Um, let's grab me something. Let's have Batman come back, but this is going to be a little more um, artsy. Why can I not find Batman? There he is. We're going to put him out here. Now, um, let's say he's here. Um, let's do a little tween. He's all tweened. Now, actually, whoops, I was about to do a keyframe here, which I did not want. I want, at this moment, I'm not happy with where he is. Let's have him start lower down. And let's say, mm, I don't know, 20 frames, 15 frames, whatever. At some point, I want him to be, whoops, farther up. So he's going to kind of rise slowly. Let's make him a little bigger. Now, let me show you something really cool. Go back to your... Um, beginning frame of the tween and if you go to his properties oh sorry make sure this is what's really frustrating if you're clicked here you're on the properties of the tween I need to actually click on Batman to be dealing with um, the properties of Batman and what we want is a filter Ooh, act me. we can do a filter yeah let's do a filter let's add a filter let's do something like a blur now, I can deal with the strength of that blur by changing these numbers. I could say I could say he's like mega blurry. Let's, say, let's go even blurrier. Look how blurry he is. Awesome. And then, oh, cons aren't it. Look what I just did. I did that on the wrong keyframe because I was moved over. Here's the magic for control Z. I'm going to control Z till I stop messing everything up. What I really wanted was to be on this frame, click on him, and then change the blur. Moral of the story, it's easy to mess this up if you're not paying attention. Now, he's here and he's mega blurry. Then at this point, he has to be there. But then, what I want you to do, click this keyframe. Click on him to edit his properties. And the beautiful thing is you can say, by that point, I want him to be not blurry. And look how beautiful this is. It will actually tween the blur. So it looks like he's coming into focus. So you can get some cool, like, artistic effects going on. So not blurry. Oh, no, sorry. Blurry. Less blurry. Not blurry. And we're just going to let him sit there, which is awesome. Now, um, you could also do this if you wanted him to appear or disappear. You could deal with his alpha and have him have a very low alpha in the beginning and then at the end have 100% alpha so he, he so he's very see-through and then not so see-through. Now, um, what I want you to do right now, I want you to pause me um, and I want you to do the same thing for um, the other two, Batgirl and Robin. Have them kind of show up. I want you to tween their movement. I also want you to tween either their alpha, which is under color effect, or a, bl or a filter. It doesn't have to be a blur. So they can, if you want them to appear then you would um, deal with their alpha, have their alpha start at zero. If you want anything else, you would do some, some kind of filter. You can have them glowy and transition to not glowing or whatever. So I want you to hit pause right now. I want you to work on them, give them their own layers, and have them kind of slowly merge into the screen. Okay, so you've unpaused me because you've got something going on with Batgirl and Robin, right? I hope you do. Otherwise, you're cheating. But what we want is something, our finished product will be something like this. It'll be amazing. And we want some kind of 
fade and I'm going to show you how to do this effect with your text. So you want some type of something with all three of them coming in and then I'm going to show you how to tween up some text. So let's make a new layer. Oh, I should have named this. Hmm, this new layer I'm going to call it text. And of course you have more layers than me because I haven't done the Batgirl and the Robin, but you have. But somewhere after people have all faded in and shown up, we're going to on this text layer, we need another keyframe. You can do some text right here. Text tool. Just type whatever you feel like. And it's kind of handy. You can deal with all your typical um, font and size and color and all that kind of stuff. You could actually even do I don't even know what that is. You could do, there's where you do your bold or not bold, all that kind of stuff. Beautiful. Now, what I want you to do, did I really put that be below Batman? Sorry, I need that to be above Batman. Now, what you can do here is you can actually tween text. And so, as you're tweening your text, you could say that you want it to start there, um, at some point you want it to go, I don't know, somewhere else, maybe it's going to come down here. You could still do the same thing um, with the filters. You could have it blurry, not blurry, or whatever, but then watch something really cool. It's here. What I'm going to do is, now, when you have this selected, you're talking about the tween. I'm going to click this. That, that layer that keyframe, I'm going to click on the text itself, and then I'm going to use this crazy 3D rotation tool. Now, some, this takes a little getting used to, but you could be like, wow, now, wow, now. You could just rotate it all day. Sometimes it's really hard to get what you want. Um, but you could say, I want it to be rotated here. By the time it gets down to where it is here, I don't know what just happened. Where did it go? I want it to be less rotated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> This takes some getting used to. Okay, so that axis is cool, not this axis. Anyway. Sure. I don't know, I can't, I can't make it flat like normal. <laughs> well, you can play with it till you like the way it looks, but the great thing is it will you can do some 3D rotation on your text. That's not at all what I wanted to happen. Hopefully yours looks better than that. If you hate it, sometimes you can just start again. If you go to this blue and right click and say, actually just remove that tween. Like I don't even want that tween. And then you could create a new tween and, and try again. Sometimes that's the best thing to erg. Sometimes that's the best thing to do with your tween. I just accidentally dragged Batman. If you want to, this Batman layer, this lock, if you click that, that means I can't mess up Batman. Whoops, I should have locked the background too, but I didn't. Um, and so that lock can be a handy thing. So I'm just going to tween my text again. And awesome. Hopefully yours looks better than mine. But here's what I want you to do. Now that you know how to tween text, I want you to give me something like this. All three people come in, do their business, then you have some ending screen where people kind of float in, and then there's some tweened text, and it's all over. Once you have kind of a finished product, you can upload that, and you now know how to tween, you know how to tween motion, you know how to insert tween keyframes, you know how to tween um, filters, color effects, and you know how to do 3D tweens on text. So congratulations. So once you're done with that, go to iSchool and upload it.